All right, OAS family, we are here with another video book review. And today we are going to be reviewing Landscape in the Four Seasons by Chang Sung. So before we get into it, the general statistics of the book are it is approximately 11 and 3 quarter inches tall by about 8 and a quarter inches wide. And the book has instruction in both Chinese and English and it is about 119 pages long. So we're going to get right into it. This book is uh, one of my favorite books because uh, landscapes uh, are one of my favorite subjects. And I really like the format of this book in that it's covering landscapes in the fourth season. So that is really... Uh, um, and also the artwork in it is excellent. So we're going to get right into the book here. We have this cover which uh, immediately shows us that we have these four seasons of landscapes represented, uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And we're gonna get into the preface, and you can see here we have both uh, uh, instruction in both Chinese and English. And we hit our first season, which is the spring. So this is the very typical sort of instructional format of this book, uh, which is, um, it has an element breakdown, like a main element breakdown on the left-hand side. So it'll show you this sort of simple line work for the trees and then uh, filled in with some of the leaves. And then it shows you a final composition here featuring that featured element. So that is the sort of instruction format for the book. So, and then we can see it here again with these, uh, Kind of peach or apricot blossoms. Okay, and then the final composition. And then here with this misty rain. All right, and then this featuring this bank. So you can see here this very simple bank painted, and then we get it more filled in here with the boats. And then we see it featured, fill, completely filled in in the final composition. All right. And once again, with this sort of more blue-green concept in the landscapes. This one where we're featuring mist and clouds. This one which features mountains in the distance. And here's lightly colored, sort of light colored landscape. It's got this nice sort of, sort of lighter beige coloration. Another one that sort of features blue and green. Another distant mountains composition. This has this really nice sort of flat bank in the foreground with these cranes. Really nice painting. Beautiful. Here's just a final finished composition with a waterfall. Okay, so this is the other part of the paint. This is the other part. It'll it'll also just show some a handful of final compositions, which is also very inspiring. Then here we have this sort of water village breakdown. Yeah. And then spring on the lake, Thai Lake. Another sort of couple finished compositions that feature springtime in the lake. Good, now we're into our next season, the summer. So we can see here this tree composition. And then we see it here in the final painting. And then here's uh, another one featuring these sort of more wispy trees. This is a really excellent rendering. This is, what I really like about this is the styles of the paintings are quite different. 
you know, so it's not just a change in seasons, but we have also kind of a lot of diversity in styles shown here, which is not as common in a book. A lot of times a book will be featuring a single artist and that artist's style is his style. But this one we can see here from painting to painting, we get pretty different styles. Another sort of landscape that's featuring blue and green, like these birds in the distance. That's a really nice touch, very effectively done. This is an ink only landscape. So you can see how much variety they get in color and texture and it's just ink. So not to be underestimated in its potential is the ink only painting. So if color overwhelms you, just paint in ink. Even the color things that you see in color, if you try to copy them, you can definitely do them in ink. Just render the darker colors with dark ink and the lighter colors with light ink. or diluted ink, sorry, when I say light ink. There we go. So this is uh, one featuring sort of clouds. Here's a sort of small kind of close up waterfall painting with a tree in the foreground showing the rain. So this is kind of cool. Um, you know, we don't get summer rain a lot in our area, but in Asia, it's quite common. So we do see ha we have we have rain associated. All right, this is fog. This is what they call splash color. You see this dynamic sort of use of these blue and green tones. Another one with this very kind of cool cliff that kind of goes inward with this overhanging of mountains. That's really great, really excellent composition. So we have Summer Leisure and Yellow Mountain these waterfalls, beautiful. And then a seaside final composition picture. And another leisure in the mountains composition. Now we're getting into autumn. So it's, the fall's coming up and you know, we're still into the summer feeling times right now, but um, it, it's good to, to start painting seasons early because when the seasons hit, you want to be able to show your work. So it's nice to be a little bit ahead. That's a trick kind of from the retail industry where they're always thinking about the seasons coming up when they're designing. Artists can be the same way. If you want to share your art, you want to have that ready when the seasons come. So now we can start to see these fall colors and how well they pop in the context of these landscape paintings. Really nice. You can also see an Asian take because a lot of times the autumn scenes that we're used to, of course, the iconic kind of Northeast United States, you know, where they have all those um, forests of trees that turn colors. This, I think, is one of the most simple and accessible compositions in the whole book. So you can see not a lot of detail here and the line work is you know accessible it's looser and there's not as much of it so you can see here that that is one that you can try this is a autumn one that features mountains and rocks it's a sea of sea of cloud paintings wow look at that amazing We see here the rendering of that in simple, and then after we fill it in with the wash and the colorations in the foreground mountains. 
And then this is a different type of cloud. This is sort of like a style that has been popularized by Japanese artists, um, but was originally a Chinese technique. Uh, but you can see here this sort of outlined effect, and you can see this featured in a lot of sumie or Japanese artists. And then rain. Another lightly colored landscape painting. This is a more elaborate style using blue and green. So you can see more detail in the line work as we get close up, you can see that. All right, another lightly colored landscape, also one of the simpler compositions. So this one, again, if some of these more complex ones are intimidating, this is one that you can start with because it's simpler. Once we begin, we see these fall colors on full display. Love this little stream with the fall changing leaves in the background. This is really lovely with the mist rendering in this painting there. All right, we're getting into our last season here, the winter. Excited to see some snow and how the, that, that rendering is done. So seeing these bare trees, that's also very indicative of the winter. The, the term they use a lot is withering. Love that little detailed line work on these withering bare trees. You can see that here in the foreground. Really gives you a feeling of the winter. Once again, very striking tree composition. Architecture featuring these little rests or they call them tings which is basically means to stop a rest stop all right so another sort of mountains with a sea of mist or clouds snowscape here you can see how they use that white empty space of the paper to indicate snow. Let me see it again here. And then a third time on this one. This is the fourth one on Snowscape. This is a finished painting that they call Homecoming. Right here is another final composition that features snow. And then we have this interesting sort of narrow painting called Poetic Mood, which is just this overshot of this boat. Very interesting painting. Then we finish with the listing of other books from the same publisher. So there you have it. That's Landscape in the Four Seasons by Chang Sung. And I hope you enjoyed this video book review. Make sure to subscribe and hit like uh, on our video for more content like this. And we wish you happy painting.